The Fraser River is one of the world's biggest salmon producing streams, and this year more than 25 million salmon are forecast to return. One fish biologist is able to explain this greater than usual salmon run. The survival of the salmon depends on what happens to them in the sea when they're very young and vulnerable. So they spend a year and a half roughly in fresh water after they're born, then they go to sea. This year they come storming back. Well, that means in 2008 something went right. And the thing we went right was that it was very cold sea temperatures and that's very good for a cold water fish. Last year was the lowest salmon return in over 50 years, but this year it is the highest in anyone's living memory. And so when you see really lush vegetation like we have behind me here on Stony Creek in Burnaby, that is a sign, in fact, that there are high nitrogen inputs. And salmon provide that nitrogen when they dive, and their carcasses actually act as fertilizer in the surrounding vegetation. A year like this is going to be this, an enormous pulse of fertilizer into the streams throughout the Fraser Basin. The Fraser River hasn't seen a salmon run this big in almost 100 years. It certainly has many positive effects, however, for the plants and trees, the river ecosystem, and for us, the consumers of salmon. Alwena Shirley in Burnaby for BCIT Magazine.